I'd like to talk to you about CFAR fire extinguishing systems on boats. Many late model boats are fitted with these automatic systems. They're a brilliant system, but I'm afraid that a lot of people don't know how to operate them or how to look after them. Now the CFAR system is designed, it's an automatic system, so it will trigger automatically if there happens to be a fire in the engine room, or you can manually trigger it from upstairs by the helm. Now these systems are hooked up to the engines so that if they do lose pressure, i.e. they lose gas just over time, or they're triggered, the engines should automatically shut off. Now this can be a problem if over time you do lose gas because you might go to start the engines and they won't start and you can't work out why. The fact of the matter is if this, this goes into the red, there's a good chance it will disarm the engines. The reason it does that is if the fire extinguishing system does go off and the engines are running, the engines will ingest the gases and the chemicals that are put out by the fire extinguishing system. So it shuts the engine down so you won't do any damage to the engines. Now, these systems also have, if that does, if that does happen, if it does lose gas or it's triggered and you do need to start the engines, on the dash at the helm is a little switch which has an override. So if you put that into override mode, you should be able to start the engines. Now, a lot of boats are delivered, or when the boats are delivered, there's this little pin here, which is a safety pin, which is designed to stop the unit from going off. So if anyone's working in the engine room, ideally, they should put this pin in, because if this does trigger by mistake or someone sets it off, uh, the gas it puts off in here will probably kill you. So you don't want that to happen. So for service people doing work on the engines, you should put this pin in, it stops the unit going off. The trick is to remember to pull that out again. Now, for some boats I've been on, years old, they've still got this pin in here to stop them going off. Now, if you do need the unit and that pin's locked in there, well, it's not gonna go off and the consequences could be dire. Luckily, I can probably count on my hand in the last on one hand, in the last 30 years of boating, how many boats have actually caught fire in the engine room? It doesn't often happen, not in this day and age. Anyway, so the trick to remember is, when you're working in the engine room, ideally put this in, little safety pin, stops the unit going off by mistake. When you've finished work in the engine room, you remove it. But if you do have a boat, and you haven't actually looked at your fire extinguishing, automatic fire extinguishing system, particularly the sea fire, just check that that pin has been actually removed. Now you don't want to make a mistake and pull this pin out because that will stop the, the remote control trigger from working. So it's just this pin here, it is labelled, usually hangs beside the unit. Now another thing to note is Australian standards, standards say that these need to be serviced once a year. In recreational boat world you don't actually have to have one of these on board. You can have just manual fire extinguishers and ideally you need to service those once a year. The beauty is now in Western Australia, there is a service agent here. So prior to that, you had to truck the unit east because they can't be air freighted. They had to be trucked to the east coast of Australia. One company on the east coast serviced them and then you'd have to truck them back, which was very expensive. Nowadays, this can all be done locally. So there shouldn't be any problems getting it done and I can put you onto, in touch with those people. Now luckily, you don't have to set these off very often, hopefully never in your lifetime, but it's good to know how they operate. I'd like to talk to you about CFAR fire extinguishing systems on boats. Many late model boats are fitted with these automatic systems. They're a brilliant system, but I'm afraid that a lot of people don't know how to operate them or how to look after them. Now the CFIRE system is designed, it's an automatic system,